Data is crucial to understanding how to make a car go quicker. It used to be that the engineer would stand there with a clipboard and dutifully write down everything the driver was telling you about what the car was doing and go and make some changes based upon what the driver was telling you. One of the biggest changes over the last 10 years even is the amount of data that we, we collect on the car and how that helps us to have an understanding of, of what's happening with the race car. A DAG is uh, an acronym for Data Acquisition Guy. His job is to make sure that all of the sensors are wired correctly on the car, make sure they're all calibrated correctly. DAGs have a spot on the timing stand. So our computer is hooked up directly to the car when the car is in the pits. As soon as the car is ready to go, they pull the cable out, car goes on track, and then we have wireless information coming back to the timing stand. And then when the car comes back into the pits, they plug the cable back in, and then we offload the high resolution data. All these pieces of data coming from all the sensors have insights. That's one of the reasons why uh, TE has continued to invest in sensors. We've got this great collection of sensing technologies. You know, everything from temperature and pressure to force vibration, speed. We could probably talk for the next 20 minutes about all the data that we collect. So we have 64 analog sensors that go on the car, and we have 16 digital sensors. You know, five years ago, we recorded maybe 20 things, and now we record probably 100, 150 things because the sensors have gotten small enough. We're measuring displacements of the suspension, you know, the loads on the car from the aerodynamics. We're measuring temperatures, we're measuring pressures. During the course of a race, we'll collect about a gigabyte of data. We have an onboard camera that we can sync up, and that's another four or five gigabytes, so it's a lot of data. The DAGs are going to give me usually an overlay from the best lap time from one of my teammates and myself. And you can see different things that each driver is doing a little bit differently. I think that's also how, as a team, you work and you keep pushing each other to always become better.